So what's going on with modular crimpers these days? Here's one I made a video about some time ago, and this is not a pass-through type. Now these days we have these pass-through crimpers that have just about made these obsolete. Let's just, let's just get that out of here. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, the pass-through crimpers are just so much faster. That's that's a great technological advancement, if you ask me. And about six months ago, I made a video about this one. This is the ratcheting modular crimper. It's a very nice tool. It ratchets. And it does both RJ11 and RJ45. So, but it's, it's heavy. You know, that's a heavy one. Nice tool. And, uh, but now, clients come out with a brand new one. This is called the Compact Modular Crimper. No ratchet, but it's smaller. You can see that it's considerably smaller than this one, and it weighs four ounces less. I weighed them both. This is about, it's about four ounces less. So if you're, you're just wanting to carry one in your tool pouch, it might be a good way to go. So this one is about 40 bucks, and this one's about 30 bucks. So this one's four ounces lighter, and this was four ounces heavier. This one does RJ11. If you need RJ11, which frankly most people don't need RJ11 anymore. There's just not that many regular phone lines left. And I haven't put one in for years. I used to do it all the time. So that's the RJ11, the smaller one. This is RJ45. Okay, so that's where we are now. We got the, uh, the new compact modular crimper. Not, I'm not saying anything bad about the, the, the little bit heavier, a little bit more expensive model that I did a video on six months ago. It's, it's a nice tool. It's, it's a more heavy duty tool, to tell you the truth. But this one's got an advantage of being cheaper and lighter. Now, this is Category 6 cable. You can always read right on it. It says Category 6. And if you have Category 6 cable, use Category 6 plugs. And uh, see, like these are category 5 e plugs and these are category 6 plugs so use category 6 with category 6 because if you use the 5 e plugs on the category 6 cable you'll get the performance of 5 e so this way we can get the full performance uh, of this category 6 cable so let's make a modular patch with the new compact modular crimper okay so here's a stripper for ethernet cable put your cable right, right in there two or three inches and we'll go around one time and press the button and pull it out now we're going to break the jacket see you break the jacket that way there's no chance of damaging any of the pairs of wire inside and inside you'll see four pairs of wire okay so this is a pull cord right here it's actually made of Kevlar and I'm going to cut it with my electrician's scissors like that and okay we're going to put the white orange and orange to the left and we're going to put the white brown and brown to the right and the reason we're doing that is we're using the T568B wiring alignment and on on that wiring mode you you put the white orange and orange on the left and the white brown and brown on the right so that's the way I start out just like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my linesman's pliers and I was surprised to hear how many guys use linesman's pliers to do this because I, I did this in the last video. They said, oh, I do it that way too. So anyway, you got to untwist the wires. You see, they come twisted and you got to untwist them and get them straight. You know, I'm an electrician and I, I use Lyman's pliers for everything, believe me. Okay, so get them nice and straight. You can just pull them gently, just gently. Get them nice and straight. Okay, and then we go to the next pair of wires and we untwist those. And we're going to see how this new modular crimper works. It's lightweight, it's cheaper. Whether I like it better than the previous version, we're, we're going to find out. Maybe. The previous version has a ratchet. 
and that's nice. That's a more professional setup, but we'll, we'll give this one a shot. I'll give you my honest opinion. Okay, so we're, we're using T568B, and it starts out white, orange, orange, white, green. Try and get it so it sits the best. White, green, and then you think it'd be green, but no, it's blue. Blue's the next. You can just consult the chart, but you really should memorize this if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it quite a bit. It'll just make it a lot easier. Okay, so you got blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay, so that's that's the T568B. Okay, so we're gonna move them all together, and you can wiggle them. Now we're gonna be cutting off all this this way. You can put pliers on the end up here, but not down here. Don't ever touch this end with, with pliers of any sort. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna cut it off nice and straight. Okay, I cut that about an inch or so. This one's got a little curve to it. Okay. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay, all right, we're good to go. All right. Okay, this is a pass-through system. So you can see right here where it passes through the little hole in the front. All right, so that's what we're going to be aiming for. When the white, orange is on the left, the spring goes down. Yeah, that's right. All right, push it all the way in. All right, let's check it out. We got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown brown that is 100 percent correct all right so we're going to try out the new crimper the new compact modular crimper so put it in right like that okay turn it around and there it goes oh that was nice that worked good comes out Okay, so now we're going to put the stress relief boot on. It's always much more professional to use a stress relief boot. Okay, there you go. That's one end. Okay, now second end. Okay, white orange to the left, white brown to the right. All right, here's the module plug. The spring is down, the white orange is on the left. Okay, push it all the way in. All right, let's see if it stayed, the, stayed true here. Okay, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay, that's correct. There we go. Okay, she's in. You want to keep this this latch out of the way. Okay, so we'll put on the strain relief boot. All right, this is my VDV Scout Pro 2 tester. And I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Plug one in there. One end in the remote. Okay, and we'll turn it on data. Pass. 
ID1 refers to the remote and there, all these numbers are lined up. Okay, now I'm going to try it with this brand new tester. Okay, Klein just came out with this brand new tester and has the remote down here. So you plug in the remote and you plug in into the tester itself and you press test and there it is, it passed. It, it recognizes that it's RJ45 and it says pass. So there's the remote. So there's uh, uh, two testers here. You got the VDV Scout Pro 2 and uh, this new one. This one's, uh, I think it's around 27, something like that. This one's around $74. This is a lot better tester. It, it tests a lot more things. But this one's uh, smaller, lighter, cheaper. That seems to be the way things are going these days. Smaller, lighter, cheaper. With the expanding use of power over Ethernet, let's check out the new 2020 NEC code and let's find something that might help us pass inspections. So here is article number 800.110B, Raceway Fill. The Raceway Fill requirements of Chapter 3 and 9 shall apply to medium power, network powered, broadband, communications cables. And here in chapter 9, here's table 1, percent of cross-section of conduit and tubing for conductors and cables. So in a conduit like EMT, you would put several Ethernet cables in it for over 2, uh, your cross-sectional area is 40%. So you can't go over 40% of your conduit filled with Ethernet cables. So I'll put a link in my video description for the new Klein Tools Compact Modular Crimper. And I'll put a link for, for the other one. Okay, this is the ratcheting crimper. This is the one I did a video on six months ago. This one costs like $10 more than this one. So I'm gonna put links for both of them. I like this one better. This is a more professional tool. It's heavier, it's, you know, I know that's not good. But it's just, it's a nicer tool. This one does the job though, it's lighter. You might uh, prefer it because it's lighter and cheaper. Okay, and I'll, I'll put a link for the Klein uh, cutter. And this is a special kind of cutter where it's, it's got the curved blades. It's, uh, you know, when you, when you cut something like this, you don't crush it so much. So that's a, a very recommended type cutter for this kind of work. Uh, I got this crimper. I'm not even going to put a link for this. Okay, this is a nice tool right here. This is a stainless steel electrician scissors. Just listen to it. Those are nice. Okay, I'll put a link for uh, both of these strippers. This stripper is just for Ethernet. This one is for Ethernet and coaxial. Uh, so I'll put a link for both of them. You just take your pick. I think they're, they're both excellent. I'll put a link for the RJ45 CAT6 and the RJ45 CAT5E pass-through data plugs. Thanks, I hope this was helpful.